Welcome to the Nell Center for our SWX broadcast of an exciting high school volleyball matchup between Huntley Project and Billing Central. I'm Spencer Martin. Joining me today is Zoe Bibb, an outside hitter for MSUB Billings. Welcome, Zoe. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Obviously, a, a college player from right here in the Magic City. And uh, right now, I kind of told you before, two programs here with a lot of championship pedigree, a really fun matchup. And they're warming up right now, which you said was one of your favorite parts back in high school. It really is. Uh, I think it's one of my favorites because it's really where the hype starts. It's where your family gets to see you, your friends, and that's where really the energy in the game starts. Yeah, and you know, not so much family as usual right now, or a big student section, or, or fans, or anything like that, sadly. But uh, you know better than anyone right now. I mean, I'm sure you'd be very grateful for a chance to play volleyball as your season's been pushed to spring. Yes, any any chance to play volleyball is we will take it. So, uh, and well, as we mentioned in our open, these two teams won a lot in recent years Huntley Project they just recently had their 100 game winning streak snapped but they're the three time defending state champions in class B and in class A the Billing Central Rams they've been in that final day of action in Bozeman for the last four years brought home two state titles and they actually met up earlier this season these two teams don't normally play each other in the regular season but with COVID-19 we're allowed to have some different matchups to fill that schedule and in that one Huntley Project swept Billing Central three to none. Zoe, back in your high school days, um, you know, sometimes you'd play teams in a lower class and, and losing to them, you know, what kind of motivation would Central have now coming into tonight? Um, I'd say Central has a, a pretty big mo motivation to keep their winning streak going. I mean, just to keep going because coming in, playing uh, another team who's a strong opponent like this, they need to keep their head in the game and stay really focused as this match will be a, a, a nail biter, I'd say. Yeah, I think we were all surprised that it only went three sets last time. Uh, don't really expect that today, and I guess you can kind of walk me through. Right now, Huntley Project has eight games on their season. Uh, Billing Central has five so far. Huntley Project seven and one, as we mentioned with that loss to Joliet. Billing Central four and one with their lone loss to Huntley Project. From the beginning of the season to you know five to eight games in, what can change for a volleyball team? What do you start to see as, as your team? Um, a lot can change depending on how your team plays and uh, I mean of course every new year has a new a new lineup a new start and really coming in and facing your t like the opponents um, you just got to know what you're up against and you got to be prepared for anything and the key thing that I'd say is just keep the energy high throughout any part of the game. And that's so key right now. Um, you know, for you, you don't have the games you're practicing a lot. You're having yeah. kind of some competition days and and things like that. If you were a senior, what do you think it'd be like trying to keep the energy on a court right now with no fans? I mean, you got to play for your team. The fans are there to watch. They're there to watch you play and have a good time. So you got to make sure that you're there having a good time for yourself because your fans are limited right now, but your team's still there. So you still got to win for them. The team's lining up for a national anthem. The JV game went five sets with Billing Central winning. So we're a little delayed in our start tonight. Nothing different there from a, a typical volleyball night, but Here's the opening announcements here at the Nellis Center. In the Billings Catholic Schools, we welcome you to the Ralph Ellis Activity Center for a night's match between our friends from Huntley Project High School. Today's national anthem will be performed by Claire Pancras.
right, national anthem in the books here, just moments away from getting started between Huntley Project and Billing Central. We should have the starters here coming out in just a minute for the visiting Red Devils. That's Kiera Band, the libero for our Huntley. Josie Hausler, junior outside hitter for the Red Devils. We showed you her in our open as our player to watch with four and a half kills per set. That was Macy Murphy, the junior setter. Coach Ayun Yasuki says she's really risen to a leadership position with the Red Devils and, uh, of course, replacing Addison Holkren after all those successful years at State. Josie Crum, a senior in the middle. She will be not playing tonight. She rolled her ankle against Billing Central the last time these two teams have played. She's one of their top hitters, but again, will not be active in tonight's game. Grace Zire for the Rams there, Libero. Isabel Erickson, another one of those hitters for the Rams, been a part of those state championship teams. Maria Stewart, we previewed her as a player to watch for the Rams, does a little bit of everything as setter and leads that offense. Sydney Gray with the pageant wave there. And Molly McGrail lines up the starters, a 6'2 senior. Central getting ready for this one against Huntley Project. Hungry for a chance to get the Red Devils back after the Class B foes beat them last time in a sweep. Some pretty good energy in here for uh, the limited spectators, I'd say. You, you uh, mentioned to me, Zoe, just not a lot of volleyball you get to watch right now. Yeah, being able to see this is really exciting. Uh, it brings me back to high school, but it's, it's exciting to see, so especially your freshman at MSUB. You haven't even gotten to play yet. <laughs> so I'm sure this gives you a little bit of a taste of, of some, somewhat a game. It does, it's really exciting. So Maria Stewart will get the opening serve for the Billing Central Rams. Just a junior, Stewart last year as a sophomore, uh, Coach Rice at the time said really had to take a lot on with all those senior and junior hitters. And, and now she's kind of become a leader herself for this Ram side and she's gonna start <laughs> with an ace for the Rams, not a bad start for Maria. Head coach for the Rams now is Anita Foster. She was a JV coach for a while there, did some work with St. Francis, and now in her first year for the Rams after Collie Wrights left to Washington. Anita, of course, played volleyball while at Montana State. She's in the Hardin High School Hall of Fame. And, uh, you know, she was still a part around for those championships. I don't know if you have any coaching changes, but, you know, as a player, how hard is that sometimes to lose a coach that you've had your whole time and then you're a senior and it's someone different? It's a big change, but you got to adapt to it. The Rams so far have adapted well and take an early 2-1 lead. That's Zayana Lake and Morton. Isabel Erickson on the serve. Just committed to Carroll College for basketball earlier this week. Except for Hasler, and there's good for the kill. I'm sure you see a lot of that from Huntley Project. As I said, four and a half kills per set for Hasler. Macy Murphy on the serve. An ace for her, the junior setter, getting it done. That has to be the best feeling as a player, right? To get an ace, it, it's a great feeling, especially on a short serve when you watch them all hit the ground and they just barely miss it. It's a great <laughs> feeling. Here's Murphy again. It's a great pass. 
Great pass. It was just a little miscommunication at the end there. Or? I'd say a big roof on the house there on the block. <laughs> Definitely. And Molly McGrail there who got blocked, a 6-2 senior as well. Wow. The Red Devils out to early 4-2 lead. Not handled well there. They set up again. McGrail trying to get him back on the block. And it goes over. Stewart sets Hansen. It'll be a block for, or sorry, score for the Rams. That's a great tool by Maya Hansen. What do you mean by that when you say tool? A tool uh, when you swing and it hits the block, but it goes out, so it's your point. Okay. You're set for project. And Hassler. Good swing. Nice tool. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning. We're learning here. Quick substitution here. Looked like Josie Crone did get the start a little bit for Huntley Project. She was not expected to play after she rolled her ankle against the Rams, but she was rotated out there quickly as well. Stewart, so it's McGrail. A great nice dig. Hit. Grace Zyre in the back line, saving it for the Rams. The point eventually, though, goes to the Red Devils. Zyre, another one of those Rams, forced to step up this year as a leader on and off the court. And her coach praising her a lot in practice. Stewart to Hanson. Another point for the Red Devils, Macy Limberhand. We've seen them go to Hanson early a couple times. Would, uh, if I told you this is her first time playing volleyball since middle school, would you believe me? Not at all. <laughs> Stewart trying to set Gray, but I'll go to the Red Devils. Peterson is still serving, looks like. He's going on a run there. Mm. Nice run, early 8-3 run for Huntley Project. Central calls timeout. And so yeah, we started talking about Maya Hansen there, of course, well known for basketball here at Billings Central, led them to a co-championship a year ago, and her team just really even though she hasn't played volleyball since eighth grade, says her vertical and her athleticism has really allowed her to thrive. You're an outside hitter yourself. I'm sure you have a nice vertical going on there. It could use some improvement, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Definitely a nice tool for Hanson to have in her toolbox. And they said that she's been like a, she's been a surprise for her and for opposing teams. It's always good to have a little wild card on the team. So your Holly Project after the Billing Central timeout, up 8-3 early in the first set. Stewart going to Cindy Gray. Handed well by Project, but eventually falls. As we mentioned, the Rams last time fell to Huntley Project in the 3-0 sweep. Coach Iona Stuckey said that Huntley Project was tenacious on defense that day, just kind of all over them with high energy. And uh, you're seeing that again early, I think, here so far. Really starting out strong is something that you want to have. When you start out strong, good outcomes come for the rest of the game. A nice hit there from the back line. You don't see that too often in volleyball. Back row swings are kind of a last resort option, or I mean, it's, it's a trick play too, so that was a good play by the Red Devils. How much of it so far is, you know, is it kind of a drawn up type play or you know, just trusting your teammate and kind of moving freely? Uh, sometimes when you get stuck in a situation, back row is a good option to have, but I think in that, that was meant for a play and mm -hmm. your back row will talk to your setter telling them, hey, I, I'm ready for a back row swing. And Macy Murphy kind of everywhere right now, getting another dig after the kill, causing all kinds of problems. It's another point for the Red Devils. Murphy's been key for them so far this year. As we mentioned, sat by an Addison Holkin for three years, the famous Red Devil leading them to those state titles. And she said, you know, she just kind of waited patiently, patiently trying to get her chance and, and finally capitalized because she knows if she doesn't work hard, someone else will just take her place at Project. Yeah. That's good to have that competition. It's a healthy competition within the team, so you know that there are people that can replace you. So Central gets a much needed point down 10-5. Zyre on the serve. 
Prodigy just has to get it over. Stewart sets up Cindy Gray, and that'll drop for the Rams. Cindy Gray leads this team in kills so far this season. She's got 48 on the year. Here's Grace Zire on the serve. A couple nice serves from her, kind of making the Red Devils scramble. That's something Maria Stewart has worked on this season. Her coach praised her. She's got 35 kills, and I told you that pregame. You were kind of surprised to hear a setter had 35 kills on the season. I was surprised. And out of bounds, this is back to project. Nova Ahenaku on the serve. Causing a little bit of trouble there for the Rams. Free ball for the Red Devils. Macy Murphy on the kill, it's out of bounds though. How often at MSUB do you guys, you know, look at free balls, you know, how many times you, you create an opportunity like that, or, or I mean, take us in how key are those opportunities for you? Uh, when the other team gives us a free ball, we, bef well, before the point even starts, we automatically come up with free ball plays because a free ball is always going to be a perfect pass, and that is when the most, uh, our best offense can be ran. Mm -hmm. So we will come up with separate plays for free balls. And as an outside hitter, I'm sure you're just looking at your chops when it's a free ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's Crum on the serve. Nice hit there from Ziona Lakeham Morton Jr. Only 13 kills on the season, but I think that's her third so far tonight. It's Maria Stewart. Another one goes out of bounds for Greta Peterson. Stewart still serving. What have you know? What have you seen change since? For original Henley Project had a six-point lead at one point. Rams kind of coming back into it. What have they done maybe better? This allowed them to get back in the first set. Uh, I noticed them. They stayed in the circle in the middle after a point. They stayed in there a little longer, and that can be where someone talks and says, "Hey, we got to pull ourselves out of this, and we got to get going." And so, that slight change in energy can really make an impact on the game. Oh, Bonder on the serve. Stewart this time to Erickson. She just kind of floats it over the block. It works. Erickson third on the team in kills with 24 so far, 1.3 per set. And she mentioned to me how she's just had to step up as a leader this year as a senior. When they lost to Huntley Project, they said communication was a big problem for them. And said maybe hanging that circle a little bit, but people like Erickson, she didn't realize how much more she needed to speak up as a senior. I would agree with that communication is key in volleyball. How, you know, how do you make a difference? I feel like sometimes in volleyball, you communicate, you communicate so much, but a difference between maybe authentic communication and, and you know, kind of fake communication. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that in the game when you're watching it from up here with us, but it um, feels like the players are always talking. Yeah. But in teams, have you seen a difference in the teams that you're on in terms of, you know, how real it was? Uh, yeah, there's definitely some, um, there's authentic communication that can really help the play, and it also is the front row talking the back row about what the other team's running. Um, but there is some communication just to fill the, the uh, silence. Mm -hmm. I think that, that's key for Billing Central in this matchup. Huntley Project played together for a long time, and the Rams have too, but always kind of in different roles. They have such strong leaders like Olivia Mort Shell and other seniors go through this program, and then all of a sudden, it feels different when you're the senior. Yeah. And everything kind of changes. Big block there from Huntley Project. Macy Limberhand, 5'8", senior. Peterson might be going on another serving run. Here to see. 
That was when Huntley Project went up five points, yep. Easy block for Hassler. So maybe you're right, maybe another run here for Peterson. That will set the score big time this one. Stewart sets up Gray. Great swing. Do you, as an outside hitter, do you start to see things and it makes you redirect where you go in a match? Yes, uh, you watch the block and your back row also talk to you that says like gap, if you have a hole, if the block is late or if you have different shots. So redirecting in the air is a huge part of being any out or any uh, pin hitter. I think it's easy for us as fans to just watch and just think you're just like hitting it as hard as you can, yeah. you know, every time just um, not aimlessly, but you, know, you see so many kills and things that we think that you're just hitting it hard. <laughs> when you get the opportunity, you certainly should smack the ball. Try to figure out what's going on with the referees here. Uh, I want to say it's a rotation error. Okay. Mm, it's hard to tell. Wait for them to work it out. Gray had just scored on the kill. Right now, Huntley Project up 17-13. Speaking with Coach Anita Foster. I didn't see anything change. Nice block there from Cindy Gray, pulls her hands within three. Hopefully a run here for Billing Central and Allison Foster. That's a great serve. Really set the Red Devils back on their attack. Her serve just goes straight over, and maybe that's how she's getting some of those kills at the side of the spot. I would say Stewart is dealing with a lot of passes that are coming tight to the net, so she does have to resort to options sending it over. Rams trying to reset, can't really find it. Stewart, though, saves it. it. Hits the roof, and that's a point for the Red Devils. Yeah, Coach Foster saying Stewart's just a very smart player. She thinks that's why she kind of fills the stat sheet, top three on her team in every category, just using her mind a lot. Not the tallest player, can't jump the highest by any means, but just kind of does a little bit of everything. There's Hanson. I'll go right in the net. Red Devils, 19-15. So not the start so far the Rams were hoping for after getting swept by Huntley last time. Rams just have to go over, free ball as you mentioned. Trying to block with that drops for Sierra Oblander. It's a good swing. Rams have to take a timeout down 20 to 15. Well, and this week coming up on SWX, we have a special Thursday night edition of high school football when the Gallatin Raptors face off with the Skyview Falcons live from Dallas Stadium in Billings. Both teams eager to secure their second win of the season. So join us Thursday night at 7 p.m. for Gallatin at Skyview here on SWX, your leader in live local sports. Well, Zoe, you're still trying to, you know, learn the Billings area coming from Colorado, but... That one a big deal, Billing Skyview for football. They just won their first game in over two years. Wow. So you can imagine if you hadn't hadn't won in a while, they're very excited now. And um, Bozeman Gallatin is a brand new high school oh. in Montana. So cool. those two teams trying to, to keep picking up some wins, keep the winning momentum alive, and that one will be fun on SWX on Thursday. Very cool. Probably haven't been able to engage too much with the high school uh, sports world with COVID-19. You said that's something you were kind of sad about. Yeah. Do you know what it's like in Colorado? Have they been able to play high school sports over there? Uh, they're starting with uh, football, golf, tennis, all the non-contact sports, or okay. except for football, I guess. Football. <laughs> Football's just the exception. <laughs> Stewart to Hanson. Project sends it back over. Tight. 
Getting a little sloppy here for a second, maybe. <laughs> a little scrappy plays, getting it together now. Back row attack. That's a great up. There's a free ball. Let's see what they do with this. Oh, it's set to the outside. Peterson kind of surprised. Sorry, not Peterson, but Oban, but she made up for it in the end. The Red Devils are catching on to Stewart's plays here. She's getting tricky, but they're catching on to it now. Is it a little early to maybe catch on to those things just in the first set of a match? Uh, I mean, she's dumped three times, I think, that I've seen. So mm -hmm. catching on to it, the outside really needs to watch the setter there. How about that from Cindy Gray to the back line? One of the big communications is uh, the outside needs to look for when the setter on the other side is front row because then she can dump and that's when she needs to watch her. Issues there for Huntley Project. Now or never for the Rams down 21-17 in the first set. And Coach Iona Stuckey is going to take a timeout. Coach Stuckey in her 30th season with the Huntley Project Red Devils started in 1990. And of course now 12 state championships for her. That's tied with Billing Senior High Coach Jeff Carroll for the most in Montana state history. And right now they're looking for their 21st straight trip to the state tournament. That's a dynasty, if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> very true, very true. And uh, we have to mention when we talk about Coach Stuckey, she started, of course, at MSUB, playing there in 86 and 89. Creating a legacy. She's in the Hall of Fame for, for your school over there. I think I've seen pictures. Uh, there's a lot of pictures of all the different years of volleyball, mm -hmm. and I, I think I've seen her in some of them. You'll find that in Montana, it seems like in sports, everyone's connected in yeah. some way. And um, even head coach Anita Foster, she played for Montana State, but her sister played with Coach Stuckey at MSUB. Wow. So it always just kind of, it always seems to, to always come full circle. There's always a connection somewhere. But Stuckey created quite the program here. Both, so much respect for both of these teams. And Foster says Stuckey does a good job getting to the lower levels, getting to grade schools to really help build this thing at Huntley Project. Stewart sets Cindy Gray, and that one just goes into the net. Great set. First time we've kind of seen some motion, a little bit of rotation there with, with Cindy Gray. Yeah, that was a good slide. That's what she ran, is a set thrown behind her for the middle to run. So here comes Project. Stewart trying to go over, she's blocked by Riley Wadman. Oh, the Red Devils get a good opportunity here. They go to Limberhand and she just taps it right over. Sneaky play. <laughs> Sorry, that was Oblander again. Had a nice first set there for Oblander. Hanaku on the serve. Stewart, like I said, oh, sorry. No, go for it. Stewart, like I said, is dealing with a lot of tight passes, so she's got to make it work whatever option she has. And normally with those tight balls, if you're in the middle, it goes to the middle, or if you're running to the outside, that's where it's going. It's tight, just her being pressed against the net. Yeah, it limits her options for sure. One right now, the Rams down 17-24, looking for a set point here, this Huntley project. And Stewart's going to go to Erickson. Great up. Here's Project, they get it done. Sierra Oblander with the kill. It's 25-7 as Huntley Project wins the first set. So not the start you want if you're the Billing Central Rams, trying to come out strong here against the Red Devils, but as you mentioned, not a lot of great opportunities for them on offense. I mean, when you're working with such tight passes, your options are pretty much where you're at. Uh, I would say if uh, BC wants to come through on this next one. They need to make sure they get their passes off the net. So set one in the books. Only Project when it's, wins at 25-17. We'll be back for the second after this. Okay.
I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to read like a champ here. I can ad-lib this read. I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about an orange crush. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's happening. Um No. Um for Zoe here. Heard an orange crush. Um that No, good. so so like yeah, like if if like when things if things start getting dry, I know you're not like from here or anything, so like don't feel like you have to talk when I'm like going historical or something, you know. Um, yeah, that, that won't be my strongest suit. No, and that's totally fine. And it's hard for me because the last guy I worked with, like, the one I was saying was, like, immunocompromised. Like, oh, yeah. He knows, like, their parents and then, like, their grandparents <laughs> and, like, their uncles. Like, and their dogs, too. Yeah, like, and, like, in an athletic way. Well, Zoe, do you know where you can have the most fun in Billings? It's Tiny's Tavern. Watch all your favorite sporting events on their 12 TV screens. Enjoy the famous Cajun chicken wings. I actually had some of those myself on Sunday. Big fan of those. Don't forget to check out their great lunch specials starting at 11 a.m. along with their full menu. You won't go hungry with the Billings local favorite Sunday chicken buffet and excellent Sunday brunch. And, of course, you get another nice little treat if you're a Denver Broncos fan. But the patio also open there at Tiny still. They do have heaters. If you haven't seen it, it's like a little oasis back there. It's the best kept secret in Billings, that uh, patio back there. And it's still open at Tiny's, a fun spot for everyone to catch a game and, and have a good time with friends. So that was just there on Sunday, had some wings. Maybe, may or may not have had an orange crush. I don't know, but <laughs> great, great, great family fun over there at Tiny's. So here we are in the second set, Red Devils with an early 3-1 lead after winning the first. And what do you think was the big key for them winning that first one, 25-17? Uh, I think their key was they really kept a steady energy, and I noticed that the volleyball stayed consistent, and they didn't really ever stop pushing ahead. They always kept that lead in between four or five points ahead of BC, and that was really crucial for them to win that game. Only project, just seemingly under Coach Stuckey, always very focused, very driven, very confident. And it's funny, I went to their practice yesterday, and you walk in and they're all wearing, you know, same shirt. In this case now, the, the same gator, they all are ultra focused. You're hearing the ball get smacked over and over. And then you ask them and all four of their, their senior leaders just said, oh, we're just a really goofy team. We, you know, we're all goofy when we're together. And you wouldn't think it watching them tonight even. I mean, they come together and they celebrate, but they just seem very driven and focused. I would agree with that. You volleyball girls, you guys are always goofing around, it seems like. I know how it is at MSUB. Yeah, goofy girls. I mean, but keeping the environment light and fun is, mm -hmm. I, I mean, you can take it to crazy or you can, like, use that and have it a fun, focused game. And that's what they said. They think that's been their key all these years mm -hmm. is that they're comfortable in their own skin together and goofy, and, and so then they know where to turn it on and off. That is a great part of team cohesion, and that's really how, like, a, a game gets won. Nice block there from Cindy Gray and McGrail. This time they try to go right over. Great pickup. Nice little rally here, oh. and it's gonna go the Rams' way. Maybe something to build off here. Coming in for the Rams is Allison Foster. Here she is on the serve. That's Causing a good all float kinds serve. of problems.
for the small amount of fans they have, there's a good energy in the stands. <laughs> Foster again, causing some issues on those serves. She's got a great float serve. The Hassler can't stop her again, four and a half kills per set, and she's seen a lot of success so far today. Emily Poole led the way for the Red Devils last year outside hitter, and now Hassler replacing that production. What's interesting about the Red Devils is that their tallest player is only 5'8", and normally for your front row, that would be about your average player, and your middles are your tallest. But, I mean, for having such a short team in general, they're a very scrappy on defense, and they make up for the height. Rams are closing the gap here. Yeah, but gr great analysis there. I mean, like we said, we talk about when you see a cross-class matchup, like a double-A and then A, or in this case, an A versus a B, I think that's where you, you see that. I mean, you look at Central, and they have a Cindy Gray, or they have a, a Molly McGrail who's 6'2", and in the end, a lot of the times, that's what prevails. You know, that, that's why that higher class always wins, but not the case so far between these two teams. And as you mentioned, maybe that scrappiness, the reason. They're very driven, too, and... Maybe their goofiness will put them on top tonight. <laughs> so the Rams are going to take a timeout, trailing three, but cutting the gap a little bit, I think finding some more success in the first set. And while we have a break here, if it's Friday night, there's high school football here on SWX. Our game of the week features the CMR Rustlers when they take on the defending state champion Bozeman Hawks. A 2-1 and one, Hawks find themselves a game behind both Billings Senior and Billings West, and coverage begins at 7 from the Gallatin Valley this Friday, live on SWX, your home for local live sports. CMR following the Skyview 20 to nothing last Friday, and Bozeman still kind of trying to find their groove so far this year dealing with some injuries, so tune in on Friday for that one. Trying to do a lot of, as many live games as we can this year for you since not everyone can always make it to the games this season. Here's Hassler on the serve. Here comes the free ball. That's a tool right there if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Hassler is it, still serving four for the gap in the score. And that's where she's been the majority of her time at Huntley Project was on that back line and, and serving. And this is the first year where she's been more on the front line as an outside hitter. Well, it's paying off. So it took lots of hard work. On that tool, though, when do you start to realize, you know, hey, I got a lot of defender in my face. I need to change my approach here. Well, if you're getting tools, then it's still working. But <laughs> I mean, you do have to figure out how to work around that block. Oh, a great. That's a 10. She hit the 10. The 10? Yeah. It's when you hit the ball and it hits the 10. It was a little off, but I mean, it went straight down because it was spoon fed right to her hand. So there's Cindy Gray serving now. Central hand was that one a good chance here for them. Right through the block. There was a big window there, and she really saw that and took that opportunity. Ziana Lakeham Morton, a nice match here so far for her. And Central pull within one for the first time in a while here. Murphy sets. That's a great set. Red Devils remain in the lead with that. Macy Murphy, one of those who, when she said goofy, it's hard to, hard to believe her because so, she seems so serious. And uh, they don't take, take it for granted a chance to play for this program and a chance to have a key role now. Especially playing now, you don't take anything for granted. Just you're thankful for the opportunity to play whenever you can. Stewart just tries to go straight over. I said from the back line from Sierra Obander, that causes Problems for the Rams as they score. And that ball staying just in bounds, so we didn't have to sanitize it or have a pause of play here. <laughs> Ohenaku again with a nice serve. Quick hit there from Murphy, sneaks it right over. Here it is. That's a sneaky play for the setter. That 
where she was going is called, well, we refer to it as the donut, and it's right in the middle of the play, and that's the best spot for the setter to dump right there. So nice find from Murphy, extends that lead again for the Red Devils. It's a great pass. Erickson, though, how much of, of that is, is footwork for you? You know, when you hit it in the net, I think someone like me thinks that they hit it wrong. But uh, it, a lot of the slide is a lot of footwork because you gotta, it's like a layup. That's pretty much how the footwork is. It's a layup and then you gotta swing. But there's a lot that goes into it with the timing of the, the running and the set. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that one is hard to uh, perfect. So here a quick sub for Billing Central, giving Haley Jensen into the match. I was always amazed if I played like adult league volleyball or something. I'm 6'4", and I would just keep hitting it into the net over and over. And then there'd be, you know, some woman who's like 5'6", and she's just spiking on me over and over. And I was like, I cannot figure this out. What is, what is happening? It could be a lot with the footwork, too. I'm, I'm, for me, I'm sure it was. <laughs> Flat-footed over here. That's a great play. She went right over the block with that. Holly comes right back. Great hustle. Let's see what they do with this. Still getting oh, a chance. A nice save there. Big block. Ooh. We're still going here in the Nellis Center. It's definitely nice one of the longer game. rallies. Longest rally in the game so far. Iona Suji putting her hands up in the air as Huntley Project gets a key point there, extending their lead 16 to 8 despite a couple of nice digs from Billing Central. A little defeating for the Rams. Set her right up for Hunt. That's Riley Wadman. Making Red. it easier for her. Red Devils have really set themselves apart from the BC Rams here. Oh, Henneke is still having a nice run there serving. Stewart trying to calm her team down. It's blocked by Murphy. And a free ball. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I was with you. I thought we were going to slow down a little bit. So Molly McGrail checks in for the Rams. Maria Stewart, Murphy, setting Hassler from the back line. It's a great hustle. Here's this free ball. Ooh, that might have gone outside the, yep, outside the antenna. A few times the Rams have kind of been caught in a difficult position. Yeah. So Coach Foster's going to need a timeout. She's noticing that as well. And on SWX, we've got a rematch of last year's AA Girls Soccer State Championship game. Join us at 5 o'clock when Crosstown Rivals, the West High Golden Bears, and the Skyview Falcons. They're going to go head-to-head -head from the Magic City. Don't miss girls soccer all season long here on SWX. That'll be another fun matchup. Our second Soccer game on SWX has been a rematch of a state championship with two local favorite favorites in Skyview and West. And so far, Huntley Project is showing that, you know, they're the three-time reigning state champs in this one. It will be hard for BC to come back from this. That is a big lead that the Red Devils has on them. It might take a big serving run to get them out of this. 18 and nine right now, and Coach Foster and that team saying they're just really. They had nice, two nice wins in the last week, hoping to keep building their confidence up, and that's just been something they've struggled with a little bit, starting with that loss against Huntley Project just a couple weeks ago. So here the Rams now are never down 18-9 in the second set, hoping to create a run here at Billings Central High School. Now, coming here, I wasn't quite sure if the games were going to be played with masks on because I know from my experience playing with a mask on, it is exhausting and it's really hard to catch your breath and you have to keep pulling the mask away so you can breathe really quickly. And I think with these girls, it's giving them a lot more air being able to not <laughs> wear a mask, and that's, that's good. Yeah, you see some gators and masks on the sidelines, but thankfully not in play. 
How have you stayed motivated not having any games this fall? Um, I would say getting in shape. It's always good. And I mean, having a good routine workout schedule, it, it, it's getting you there. And mm -hmm. you know it's all going to count for something once the season starts. So. I know we're excited. We'll see as McGrail trying to score there. But we'll see how it all works out over at MSU Billings. With oh. All this Powerful strike from Greta Peterson. When you get those spoon-fed balls and it's a pass right over the net. Check it out it's again. Is that a spoonful pass? A spoon-fed. <laughs> spoon-fed, sorry. When it's a perfect pass right to you and it comes over the net, you just got a chance to just slam it down their throats. Peterson now with a block as well. So 20 to nine advantage for the Red Devils. That's Crum on the serve. Coach Stuckey may have uh, pulled a fast one on me yesterday, telling me Josie Crum wasn't going to play. She rolled her ankle, you know. Oh. Maybe trying to disguise it. That's their that's their senior middle leader normally, but a lot more on the back line tonight. So maybe that's the yeah. the adjustment of allowing her to still play. <laughs> McGrail gets it to go. A much needed point for Billing Central. Sometimes those coaches, I don't know, we got, I don't know how head coach Casey Williams is for you, but sometimes, you know, they're a little deceptive with us. They don't like to, to show all their cards. They don't want us to reveal anything. Oh, yeah. They want to keep <laughs> their wild cards in check. It's a great touch. It's up. Let's see if they make this. That's yeah, a great Stewart play. gets it done. Oh, up. no. That's out of bounds. A well-needed break for Billing Central. You got a little excited there yourself. That was another spoon fed, and I was excited to see if she was going to put that away after that big hustle. <laughs> Hey, I don't bl blame you. Like you said, your season's pushed to spring. You haven't wa gotten to watch a lot of volleyball. It's really exciting to watch this. Lake and Morton kind of runs out of room there off the uh, set from Stewart. I'm glad you really pointed that out for me now because now I see how often Stewart almost like holding herself off from, from touching the net with yeah. her back every time. When you get a tight pass as a setter, it's tough to figure out your options, or if you just send it over. Here's, there's another tight ball, but she made that work to the middle. Probably Free ball, let's see what their play is. Oh. Drop right in. That was sneaky. That was a miscommunication right there, and I think one of the worst moments is when you're about to pass, and the, ball, the ball's coming over, and you, you're making eye contact with the girl to see who's going to go for it, and it just drops. That's just the worst. It was Haley Jensen and Grace Zire on the back line there, not on the same page. And Huntley Project just two points away from another set win. Stewart sets up McGrail. Nice hit, but right to Huntley Project. So Barrow, bam. A free ball here for the Red Devils. And a great swing. Oh, the ceiling. That is so tricky to run down. <laughs> Off your screen, but we have all these different rails, and it kind of pinballed off. And in the end, it was a point for Huntley Project, up 24-11, really pulling away here. <laughs> Stewart's going to Maya Hansen, and she's blocked. <laughs> Macy Murphy with a big block tonight, and that's set number two for Huntley Project, just rolling here at the Nella Center. I think one thing that really set them apart from BC was their serves. They they never really missed their serves. So Huntley Project up now two sets to none. We'll see if they can get the clean sweep when we're back on SWX.
And well, I brought it up earlier, but uh, the most fun spot in Billings, Tiny's Tavern, especially if you're a Denver Broncos fan, but watch all your favorite sporting events on their 12 TV screens. Enjoy those famous Cajun chicken wings, you know I will, and don't forget to check out their great lunch specials starting at 11 a.m. along with their full menu. You won't go hungry with the Billings local favorite Sunday chicken buffet and excellent Sunday brunch over there at Tiny's Tavern. You're talking up these chicken wings. I might have to go get some. I'm telling you, they are something else. With an orange crush? With an, yeah. Uh, or a water. Or a water. <laughs> or a water. Whatever, whatever your flavor is. <laughs> get the Cajun, though. Trust me, get the Cajun wings. That's that donut that she went for. And is that something, you know, it seems like it seems to be created more because those hitters have had so much success for the Red Devils tonight. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Stewart trying to set McGrill. That's just going to go out of bounds. She's had, you, you've praised Huntley Project earlier, McGrill 6-2, but she's had some problem with the, the shorter blockers and, and overall defense of Huntley Project. Yeah. I would say so too. Uh, just because they're shorter doesn't mean they cannot get up on that net, which they have proven they can. That was a great swing. Maya Hansen there on the kill. And uh, so I was looking, and normally between sets you switch sides, but I guess because of COVID, you just stay on your own side. Yep, everyone's staying on their same side. You can't really shake hands or anything yeah. like that. Grace Zyer, even the libero and senior for Billing Central there in the white number three, she said that. It's kind of hard as a senior and everything, like establishing a culture because you know, like they're technically not allowed to like slap hands as much and yeah. like all those types of like team building type things. Especially the sportsmanship between teams. Even if they are rivals, you're supposed to show mm. good sportsmanship, but they just they just wave at the end here. Yeah. You'll see they just kinda they just wave. But nice start here from the Rams taking their first lead in a set so far this match. Four to two right now. The Foster on the service. Band handles it, ends up in Hasler's hands, and Great still swing. no answer for her. Service coming from Macy Murphy. She leads that team in assists with 7.2 per set, and also leads the team in digs at 4.5 per set. Stepping up and doing it all for the Red Devils. And there she is now on the service. They can't not handle by Lake and Morton on the back line for the ace. This Red Devils team a really confident bunch, bunch right now. As we said, that streak snapped by Joliet. That was a big deal in the volleyball community here. But Coach Stuckey said she never really liked it. She didn't like all the pressure it put on her team, citing that a lot of these players you know, were practice players or a junior varsity player through those years. That streak wasn't really theirs per se, the pressure was different. So now she thinks her team just keep getting better. They're without that pressure and they're all fired up and working harder than ever now after feeling a rare taste of loss. Cindy Gray hits it into the net. And the Red Devils have taken the lead. Or they're tied, <laughs> they're still tied. We're still trying to work it out. Try to, give oh, the home, try to give the home point to Billing Central there for a minute, but it is 5-4, <laughs> now 6-4 Red Devils as Murphy on a nice little four-point run here. Macy Murphy with a great serving run. Let's see how long she can keep this going for. So Murphy again. Stewart for Gray. Mm. He started to tense up there, what was wrong? <laughs> uh, she got a little close to the net. I think it always makes volleyball girls nervous when they watch other players get close to the net because that's when ankles roll. And mm -hmm. uh, one of my friends, she had tore her ACL. Okay. She stepped on a girl's foot. So you just kind of start to get a little worried. Yeah, it's a little uneasy. Yeah. So another nice run here for Murphy and the Red Devil. Sydney Gray trying to put it to an end. She can't. Murphy keeping it in play. Chance here for the Rams. It's a good push, that's a good spot. Those deep corners, when that setter throws it over the net to those deep corners, that, that can really get you if the middle back outside isn't paying attention. So smart there from Maria Stewart. Here's Grace Zyre. 
Oh. Looks like she was going for Hassler, but. A little miscommunication there. I think they were trying to run something, but the setter and uh, outside had a miscommunication. Again, Murphy this time just Good sends spot. it over. There's the slide. Hassler blocked this time. The point's going for the Rams. What was the call there? Um, I missed that? the call. <laughs> but it is now all tied up. Nice showing here, though, from Billing Central in the third set. Didn't know how they'd come out. After Huntley Project won that second one very handedly. Yeah, they will not give up easy. They uh, they felt humbled, and, and Coach Foster said embarrassed a little bit after that, that sweep to Huntley Project. And showing a lot of fight here now, tying it up at eight. That's a great swing there by Cindy Gray. Cindy Gray going back for the serve. It is all tied up again. Let's see if she can push this lead for the Rams. Gray one of five seniors for Billing Central. Zyre with another nice dig, keeping her team in it. And Laika Morton finishes it off. And that is a touch on the block. Rams are staying in it, and they have pushed the lead. Grace Zyre with a team high 77 digs this season. She's definitely been in double digits here tonight. Murphy sets Hassler. This time, just going just easy with it. They are really neck and neck, and the Rams are not going down without a fight. This could be a comeback and a game to five. Wow. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, right? Just Hassler on the serve. There's that spoon-fed ball that always gets put away. Riley Wadman on the play you love. It is the adrenaline gets going when you get when you <laughs> see that ball coming over. I would get nervous that I would mess it up. I get nervous if someone else wants to take it because sometimes there's <laughs> like a thing between the middle and the outside. Mm -hmm. Hassler getting her team back on track here. Giving Grace Zyre a lot to work with just on the serve. Stewart to Erickson, and they haven't really seemed to have that on track so far today. So Coach Foss is going to take a timeout here, down three points early. And while we have more high school volleyball coming up next Tuesday on SWX, when we bring you the Butte Bulldogs and the Hellgate Knights live from Missoula. Our coverage begins 7 p.m. next Tuesday, right here on SWX Montana. So there's that one again for you, Missoula, Hellgate, and Sentinel, a nice crosstown matchup. Now, do high schools here travel to play each other, like travel far to play each other? Yeah, yeah, so um, they got rid of non-conference this year for a lot of different ones. Oh, okay. Um, but they still, I mean, like Great Falls, for example, isn't close by any means, but that's like a conference game for building schools. So still oh, okay. got to go on the bus with that mask. And there's another matchup for you there on October 9th. But, um, yeah, lots of driving around. Obviously a big state. Yeah. <laughs> Going from end to end. That was the big thing they did was get rid of non-conference, and that's a big reason this one's non-conference, but being still in the same county and same area, they were able to, to make it happen. Huntley Project and Josie Hassler with a little momentum here. Maria Stewart trying to save. Nice put over by Erickson. That's a double. But no go for her. I can sense a little tension here on the uh, BC court. You can tell when their energy's low, mm -hmm. uh, it gets quieter, and that's when the lead for the, uh, the Red Devils is really, that's when they can take their chance. Just a little bit of a rally here. You saw that one earlier. Friday night does mean high school football on SWX, and coming up this week, it's a Western Double A cross on rivalry between Missoula's oldest schools. The Hellgate Knights take on first place Sentinel Spartans 
from Washington Grizzly Stadium. We don't have the Grizz playing right now, but we have some cross on high school football Friday at 7.30 on SWX, Montana's leader in local sports. Here comes Stewart with the serve. She just had a nice send over that won them the point back, and that's closing the gap 10 to 14. Sir Josie Hassler handles it to Murphy. She's going on the other side. Desire with another dig. Murphy just goes over. Both teams trying to reset. The point goes to the Rams. Hanging around here in the third. Sydney Gray getting up from the bench trying to Get some of that energy back, I think, for Billing Central. I would say that's crucial. That's what they need right now. And if uh, Stewart keeps her serves on this run, then they will be tied and potentially take the lead. Oh. Powerful hit from the old blonder was stopped by Stewart. Erickson just goes over. They're looking for a reset here. One of the long, longest rallies so far tonight. There's Lake of Morton. It's going to end by just going out for Huntley Project. Oh, Much of the attest of the fans and players. Yeah. Bit of the dispute between the line judge and BC. They think that free ball was in, but it might have hit the antenna. Looked like it hit the antenna. Yeah. It's antenna to me in live play. I think but. so. Oh, they're calling it a redo. How rare in sports to have a true redo. And <laughs> the match, I mean. Well, I mean, if there's if it's a big argument and they don't want to cause a big argument, they'll redo the play if it was also hard to tell, too. Great serve. Stewart setting it up for Erickson. These two teams really starting to kind of even out, it feels like, in here. They are. BC is really putting in all their efforts to keep these rallies going and hopefully finish them. Great swing and an up. Wow. Oh. That's Kira Band keeping that play alive for Huntley Project. Somehow, some way, and then it's not handled by Zyre. Maybe a back-breaking blow there for the Rams. That was a that was a great point there. They both really fought for that. And as the rally starts to get really deep into the play, then they really start to go get the grits for that. Thought for sure McGrail had the kill there, but now here's Huntley Project on the serve. Great up. These liberos are really coming out good tonight. Murphy sneaking it over. Great play right there. That's. That play will get you every time, if, and that's when this is when they really need to be watching out for those because she has done that three successful times. Really picking her, her mm -hmm. spots in this match. Maybe Stewart's going to try the same thing. Murphy saw it coming, but they weren't able to handle it. It's almost like she just, she's like, oh, no, she's going to try what I just did. Yeah. Isabel Erickson on the serve. Big block from Maya McGrell, but it goes out. 17 to 12, the Red Devils in the lead, and they are really starting to exhaust the gap here between BC. And they bring in their senior, Crumb, on the serve. Just pops over the net. Set up Hansen. That gives him trouble and a key score for Maya Hansen. She really gets above the net for building central. Yeah, very true, very true. Ziona's back to serve. Let's see if they can close this gap here. They've got a big four points to earn. And with how it looks now, the points are gonna be long rallies. Mm -hmm. That was a great play. Beautiful setup from Stewart to Cindy Gray. They haven't really been on track so far, but that's the first time we've seen that play work out. Stewart really ran that offense well. And he loved the powerful elbow, elbow yeah. knocks <laughs> to celebrate. He loved that. <laughs> Great serve. That Murphy one play, that one play could have made a big difference for the Rams. That really could have given them 
That momentum, there, there it is. There we go again. That time, McGrail. And nice starting to see everyone up on the bench. Kind of new life in this arena here. Here comes a big energy shift for the Rams. This could be where they close the gap. There's the replay for McGrail. Just powers it past them, and they pull within two here. Another big block, Cindy Grip, Gray, and McGrail. Absolute roof. Iona Stuckey needs a timeout as the Rams show us the fight and hold them one here in the third set. That was a great play, and like I said, here comes a big energy shift for the Rams, and this could really set them ahead, and this could be where they come back and take a game. And next Thursday, we'll be coming to you live from the new Hamilton Sports Complex with more high school girls soccer with the Corvallis Blue Devils facing their rivals, the Hamilton Bronx. Our coverage of the Southern A Showdown kicks off at 6 o'clock from the base of the Bitterroot Range right here on SWX. So yeah, Billing Central giving us something to talk about after it looked like they were fading away there. You pointed it out and a nice run led by Cindy Gray here. Those, uh, one of those big points there that gets the energy going. It could be a big block or just a big kill. That can really change the energy of the team because it gives them hope that people still got some gas left in the tank to finish this game. Volleyball seemingly, to me, more than any sport, just about your pure energy, attitude, and, and chemistry. Oh yeah, if you go into this game wanting to win and you show it, it's gonna happen. And a nice run here for Ziona Laka Morton on the serves. See if she can tie it up for the Rams. It just hops over. Ziona Laka Morton ties it up. She's got a roll in here for Central. Just barely out. Worth taking her shot though, I think there, as they try to fight back in this one. But now in the hands of Sierra Obonder and Huntley Project. Stewart going to Hanson. Handled on the back line. Murphy comes up. Oh, just barely. And that was Josie Hassler once again getting it done. She was like turned away from the net there on that hit. Yeah, she made it work. Great pass. Only project with the block. Try to get to Hassler, it's a bit of a mess there and the point's gonna go to Huntley Project. Oh, and the refs call it on the lift. Getting caught in that awkward position there. Yeah. Red Devils started to set themselves apart by three points, 2017 for the Red Devils. There's Oblander again on the serve. Stewart sets Gray. That's been working in the third, but not that time. Band was there. They get to Hassler. It's blocked by Sydney Gray. Way to pull, way to pull. We've got another one of those long rallies we've seen here. And Maria Stewart picks her spot. The Red Devils are heavily relying on their outside Josie Hassler to finish this game for them as repetitive sets keep going to her. There's Foster for Billing Central. Murphy trying That's to pick goal. her spot. Great spot. There's Hassler. And Sydney Gray doing a good job here in the third of stopping her. That time, hit just falls short. I thought we were about to have a brilliant moment there from Gray. <laughs> Macy Murphy's back to serve for the Red Devils. It's 21-18. Murphy was at the serve when they pulled away at the beginning of this third set. Stewart looking for Gray. Murphy just gets it over. Here comes a slide. That time not quite on the same page and Nita Foster needs timeout down 22 to 18. BC's really got to work on that connection there with the slide, but they will get there and when they execute that, that will be a great play. 
And it's got to be hard. It's another thing that they're, you know, relying on to do in terms of just your energy as we get later in this match. It's a lot for Sydney Gray r running around. But coming up next Saturday night on SWX, we have Class AA girls soccer as the Gallatin Raptors continue their inaugural season with a trip to Billings to face the defending state champion West High Golden Bears. Coverage airs at 7 p.m. on tape delay from the Magic City here on SWX Montana. So a key moment here for Huntley Project and Billing Central. Up four on the Rams. But we've seen some life here. The best set, I would say, for the Rams, a lot to, to build on right now. Lots of energy. I'm interested to see how Anita's foster, how she used her uh, timeout and how this will impact the girls. Straight to Sydney Gray going for the hit, but bam, she's just been there all night long. Stewart tries to pick her spot, does it well. Key moment here for the Rams. Go to Maya Hansen, she gets it. That was a great swing. Maya Hansen joining the Rams in her junior year. First time playing volleyball since eighth grade and she's had some key hits tonight. There's Murphy to Hassler. It's their bread and butter, it goes off the face it looked I like a foster no it could have been a shoulder she wore it well though that was a great swing by Hassler she is heavily relied on for this team and there is 23 19 Red Devils are up smelling some blood here here's Greta Peterson on the serve Stewart dink and dash right over Stewart using that ball that is put tight on the net by the passer to her advantage and she wins that point and the serve this is the closest set, as we said, so far in the match. Rams trail by just three. Sydney Gray serving. Murphy going to Hassler. That's going to be out off the wall, and it's set up for a match point for Huntley Project. No answer, really, for Hassler tonight. Maybe blocked once. Here comes game point, 24-20. Let's see how Rams come back from this. Haley Jensen checking in for the Rams. So the Rams trying to hang on. It's just going to drop for Maria Stewart, and that will do it for Huntley Project. 25 20 in the third set. They win it in straight sets, so we get a little wave goodbye after the match. But Huntley Project wins it over the Rams in a sweep. We'll be back to wrap things up for you here on SWX.
All right, we want to thank Tiny's Tavern for helping us out put this production on. They fed our crew before this match, and always a great place to hang, great wings, great enchiladas tonight, and always some great drink specials as well on game day, especially, as you know, if you're a Denver Broncos fan, rooting for your Orange Crush while you enjoy an Orange Crush. And, well, today, Huntley Project beats Billing Central in straight sets, 25-20 the third, really ran away in the second and asserted themselves. And this is the second time now they've swept the Rams on their way to maybe another Class B state title run. What did you see today from the Red Devils that really set them apart? Um, I noticed they never really missed any serves. And serving is a, it's the one thing that you can control in your own game. And by being able to make those serves, you are getting every possible chance to win a point for your team. And they are a scrappy team. They do not have the height that other teams have, but they are a scrappy team that will not let anything go. And when they do get the chance to swing, they will swing away and they will use that opportunity. Um, the setter also did a really good job. She put some away in the donut and Overall, I think this team is really scrappy and they definitely earned their win. Yeah, Huntley Project serving 94% efficiency rate so far wow. this season. Uh, 300 team kills, 500 team digs, and that was before tonight. And so a lot of people looking to maybe that one loss and saying, you know, is this team up to snuff? But coming into a Class A gym with a lot of championship pedigree and getting it done not just one, but two times. So for Zoe, for me, Huntley Project winners tonight in three straight sets. We'll see you next time here on SWX.